PJ here and today we're doing something a bit different we've got to take my my car in for a service well it's not a service it's been serviced it's having a software upgrade so uh, we're here at the Toyota garage hang on let um, me we'll just turn the camera around there you go there's the car it's, uh, it's got to have a software upgrade and we're here at the Toyota garage now uh, and they're going to do this which takes quite a time and they're going to lend me a Toyota Yaris like the one I use for when I'm uh, at work so uh, which one I'm going to get I don't know but uh, I'm looking forward to having a run around in a Yaris so let's get in the showroom and see and while we're here we're talking to my friend Leo. Are you recording me? Yeah. Oh God. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want a car, this is the man to see. Definitely come and see me. I'll yeah. do you a great, great deal. A great, great deal. So the come greatest to greatest deal ever. The greatest deal ever. So come to Bowers at uh, Rotherham. Yeah, Wickersley, Bawtree Road. <laughs> and this man will look after you. And I love you loads. And he loves his loads. And this man is, is, is a, a great man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. He is, he is. So we've got to c come and have a look at which Yaris you're going to lend uh, us I'm now. trying to grow my hair so that I can do the dreadlocks like uh, <laughs> Peter does. But it ain't going to work. <laughs> oh, it will. I'll put dreadlocks in for you, mate. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Good luck with mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade. Jade? That's my right-hand woman right-hand person yeah? yeah 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 and she's going to sort me out with a nice toyota yaris 100 percent. because i'm going to do a review on the toyota yaris while i'm running around in it yes go for it one of the best toyota cars in my opinion oh i love that little yaris it is i lovely. really do it is lovely okay well, love you guys <laughs> and look after him look after me make i need him, looking yeah, after yes make him famous <laughs> <laughs> oh, not infamous <laughs> Not not infamous, famous. So while I'm sat waiting for him to sort me a, a car out, they give me a beautiful cup of coffee, and it's not rubbish coffee; it's good coffee. So, cheers and good morning. I mean, it is like nine o'clock in the morning. I know that's not very really right, but you know, but coffee's always appreciated. All right, we're gonna go and get the car in a minute. So. I'm excited about this, I really am. The lady here is going to show me the service department. What's your name, love? Andrea. Andrea. Andrea is going to show us the service department. And uh, so if you fetch your car here, you're going to be able to see who works on it and uh, the workshop and everything else. Hopefully we might get a quick word with the service manager or somebody like that while we're in there. Okay, so we've just had a, a quick word with, uh, with some of the staff and they need, to, um, they need to have a word with the director just before we go in the, uh, in the warehouse, not in the warehouse, in the uh, service area. So uh, that might come at a later date, but we can see inside. So let's have a look inside. It's a super modern facility, which is nothing less than you'd expect at Toyota. Let's have a walk round to the other entrance. We can perhaps see a bit more there. Now the Toyota Yaris that uh, I'm borrowing, it's not the top of the range, the one I've ordered. It's got the big sunroof, keyless entry, everything on it. It's fantastic. Uh, and this is just a standard model. But it'll still give you an idea of what the car's like. So we'll find out as time goes on. So uh, this is the workshop. All very nice and clean. And let's go and uh, get in this car then. And uh, I've got to go to a uh, solicitor's and drop a letter off. I'm selling a house. 
So uh, we'll do that on the way home. So the uh, the one I've ordered has keyless entry and all sorts of things on, uh, and this hasn't. I didn't expect to get one like that, just as a, um, a borrow car while all the other ones in for service. But uh, we're going to have a day's driving round in it, see what it's like for fuel consumption and things like that. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So let's crack on. Okay, so we've got the Cleethorpes and uh, this car's done fantastic. We've just pulled up outside, oh I say we. That's me in the car. I've just pulled up outside uh, McDonald's and I'm going to go in and pick a coffee up and, uh, you know, what you do when you get to McDonald's. So uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what this vehicle has done. So let me turn the camera around and you can see how well it's done. I came on the motorway um, with average 47 mile an hour. It's taken us an hour and 20 uh, an hour and 25 minutes, an hour, well it's probably takes about an hour and 20 minutes because I've been stood here for a minute or two. And then here, uh, as you can see, we've been on electric for 34% of the time. And uh, we've actually managed uh, 70 miles to the gallon. Now I did have the uh, cruise control, the adaptive cruise control set to uh, 70 mile an hour, so all the time we've been on the motorway and the dual carriageway, apart from when we've been slowed down by other vehicles, we've been doing 70 mile an hour. I know it says uh, we've averaged 46 mile an hour, but we had to get to the motorway and everything first. So that's fantastic. So uh, I'm going to go and have a donut and a cup of coffee on the seafront, and then... Uh, we're going to uh, have a nice walk up and down and I'm going to come back uh, through Gainsborough so it's country and urban driving so we'll see how we do then. So I've been on the seafront for a couple of hours and a nice long walk up and down the front. I was going to get uh, some fish and chips but you know I've changed my mind I'm going to get myself a burger and oh sorry a half pound burger with bacon <laughs> and a cup of coffee and then we're going to think about heading back. So, uh, I'm looking forward to this. It is a bit breezy and it's the first time you've ever seen me with a coat on. But uh, you got to do what you got to do. And it's a bit breezy and it's just starting to spit with rain as well and I don't want my dongle or my gimbal to get wet. So, in a short while I'm going to get back in the car, reset all the tripometers and everything and uh, see how we do on the journey back. So, we'll see you in a bit when I've had my burger. Well, I've got my cup of coffee. Just wait for my burger. She's going to shout me when it's ready. Bloody hot. And it's made with hot water, so it's bound to be a bit warm. <laughs> Half pounder, well she called it a double double quarter burger. But it's a half pound burger with bacon, cheese and onions. What else can a man ask for apart from it to stop raining? Very, very nice. I do like tea thoughts, you know. We used to have a can caravan here when we were kids. Mm. Well, that burger was really, really nice. I'm seriously thinking about going to get I'll give you the name of the cafe when I leave. So, if you do come to Cleethorpes and you know where to get a nice cheese and bacon and onion burger, or whatever you want, you'll know where to come. Because I really enjoyed that. That was nice. Not that I'm hungry anymore, it's just I'm a greedy guest. <laughs> so, if you're in Cleethorpes, and it's not raining like it is now. And you want a sandwich? This is where you go. Hang on a minute, let me turn my camera around and I'll get it for you. There you go. And uh, they do nice donuts as well. And the coffee's not bad. So that's where to go. Right, I'm on my way home now. And I'm going to reset everything on here. So we'll clear that. And uh, 
Make sure everything's reset on here. Hang on, where's my glasses gone? So I can see what I'm doing. Right, so we averaged 70 miles to the gallon on the way here, so I'm going to reset it when I find the uh, <laughs> reset button. Press hold OK to reset. I'm just looking for... Oh, hang on. That's all set on there. History is all done. Trip information is reset. So where is OK? Oh, it's there, look. And that set my... <laughs> that's reset my MPG. So let's have a, a drive back. We're going to be going on country roads. Maximum of 60 mile an hour. There is a little bit of uphill and downhill on it. So uh, let's have a look and see how it does in a more rural environment. So off we go and I'll let you know when we get home. Right, so we're back home. Uh, come back from Cleethorpe, through Gainsborough that way. And uh, we've done very, very well. Let's have a look at the average mileage. Let me just turn the camera around. Right then, so as you can see, we've averaged on the way back 71.6 miles per gallon, um, which I'm very, very pleased about. Uh, we've got an eco score of 93. I don't know what that means. And uh, we've averaged 57% of the journey on the battery. Uh, let's have a look at this here, this screen here. And uh, average speed, we've done 32 mile an hour, obviously because we've been on the A roads rather than the motorway, and it's taken us an hour and 48 minutes. We've only got a crew range of 40 miles, so I need to put some juice in. And uh, there you go. Previous best was 70 mile to the gallon, we've got 71.6 to the gallon this time. I don't know if pressing any of those will make any difference. So uh, there you go. I don't know what update means. Let's have a look. No. Nope. Right, so there you go. That's uh, the performance figures on this vehicle. Let me just turn the camera around again and I'll give you my conclusion. Right, so what do I think to this vehicle? Well, this is just the base model. The one I've ordered is going to have the big panoramic roof in and keyless entry and keyless start so you can leave the keys in your pocket and folding mirrors and and uh, all the extras and this is just the base model but as a base model it's absolutely fantastic i love it um i can't wait for mine to come but they've told me end of march or middle to end of march so that's going to be a pain will i swap it for my audi tt no i mean i go about 26 28 a gallon out at tt but it's so much fun but as an everyday car, this for commuting and running around, it's comfortable, it's got air conditioning, it's got adaptive cruise control, um, it's got lane assist. That lane assist is really weird. You're going down the motorway, and if you start to wander off your lane, it turns your wheel for you. And <laughs> I was only hit holding the wheel very, very lightly, and, and the lane assist is actually steering the car. And if I'm coming up behind a vehicle in front of me, it's slowing me down. So it slows me down, it get, keeps me in my lane. It makes you really, really lazy. You can have a sleep while you're driving it. I'm, I'm kidding. No, you can't have a sleep while you're driving it. But it's absolutely fantastic. It's got, um, like I say, it's a base model. You put your headlights on and it dips your headlights automatically if a vehicle comes towards you at night. And then uh, when the road's clear, it puts your full beam back on. It uh, dips your headlights when you come into a, a built-up area where the street lights. Uh, it's got automatic windscreen wipers. It's got automatic headlights that come on when it starts to get dark. Um, and one of the things I really, really love about it is this. Right, as I was saying about it, what I really love is this. Uh, it's got my mapping on there. I've got Spotify. Uh, and all sorts of things, you know, that I can uh, I can do on there. It's got WhatsApp, not that you'd want WhatsApp on, weather, 
I don't know if it's going to tell me what the weather is because I've not really set it up. But right now uh, in Grimsby, it's 15 degrees and mostly cloudy. I'm not Today, in Grimsby. There will be showers. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, right. And a low of all right, I'm not in Grimsby anymore. I'm back in Workshop. But if I want Google Maps on, it puts. Uh, I've got Amigo on at the moment, Tom Tom Amigo. Uh, but if I want, I can put. Um, I can put Google Maps on, you know, I can put what I want on, and it's uh, it's fabulous. So, if you've got a favourite mapping software, um, you can use it. Let's try and get Maps on, there you go. It gives you alerts if, um, if you are... Uh, If you're uh, driving along and um, you get a, a message, it'll read your messages out for you. Asks if you want to reply, so you can make a voice message and text back while you're driving. It's absolutely fantastic. The technology is absolutely great. Um, yes, I love this little car. It is great. I mean, it's not a big car. It's not what you'd call a big family car. But for a couple or a couple and one child or somebody who's commuting or somebody who does a lot of miles on their own or just the two of them, it's it's great. It's no good if you've got three kids, obviously, and you need to get push chair in and masses of shopping and things. But as, a, as far as small cars goes, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, and um, I would recommend them to anyone. And I would also recommend uh, that Toyota dealer and speak to Leo and he will sort you out. Right, so anyway, we've got to take it back now, unfortunately. Uh, and go and pick the, uh, the CHR up. Right, so we'll see you when we get back to uh, Rotherham. And to Burrell's Toyota at Rotherham. See you in a little bit. Right, that's... Uh that's my Toyota experience over and done with. I'm just going to go and return the keys now and um, give them the car back and pick mine up. So here we go. Um, has it been a good experience? Yes, definitely. I do love the little Toyota Yaris and I'm really looking forward to mine coming. Can't wait. Alright, let's go and say uh, goodbye to Leo and uh, we're done then. So that's my day with the Toyota Yaris and uh, it's been it. a fantastic experience. We're just going to say goodbye to Leo now. I'll give him goodbye his Goodbye everybody. Hang on a minute. Yeah, Leo. I've got to turn the camera on. I'm looking at me at the moment. Good oh. looking fellow with dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah Leo. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the loan of the car. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, I will be seeing you in the very near future. Definitely. 100%. Remember, what do we, where do we go if we want a Toyota? You come to Boros Toyota Wickersley and come and see Leo. Come and see Leo. Yeah. There you go. We'll put an Italian flair on it. Uh, puts an Italian, <laughs> an Italian flair on it. He might even get his hair cut by the time you get here. Uh, you never know. If I can't get those dreadlocks, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, my You're friend. You're very welcome. See you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> So I know this video has been a bit different. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe. And hopefully I'm going to see you because we're still in South Yorkshire in the next one. Bye, everybody.